What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we are talking the box office for Venom opening weekend, and I appreciate you guys waiting for me on this one, I know I've been tweeting about it and everything and, you know, spreading the word that way, but I was, you know, always planning to make a video on it, I was going to do it late last night after my, uh, you know, interview, or I guess podcast with Dave the Film Junkie, so make sure you check that out, I'll put a link down below, Dave was nice enough to have me on the show, and it was really awesome to talk to him again, so if you haven't checked that out, we do talk about spoilers, and it's nice to, like, bounce, you know, ideas and things we liked and disliked and stuff off each other so it's a really good episode we also talk about some DC stuff over there so I'll put a link down below you guys can check it out over there as for the box office though Venom did really really well this weekend I was blown away it did way better than I thought it did or I thought it was gonna do because uh, you know I was trying to keep my expectations realistic and I was thinking you know what if it pulls in 60 to 65 million that would be great you know that that's good enough for me you know but I know a lot of the haters out there will probably you know say that's not enough and whatever and it's you know hit projection and it should have done better and you know I was just waiting for all the you know the things I had to do to defend the movie um, if I had to I mean ultimately I was didn't care what other people thought but I just was waiting for attack after attack and man did this shut a lot of people up uh, seeing 80 million dollars was awesome and that's just domestically worldwide it hit 205 million dollars and you know kind of if you do the math on it that's close enough to break even for this movie uh, depending on how much percentage they're getting from each theater and, and so on and so forth and from around the world so it could be close to breaking even on the budget not the uh, marketing obviously I think maybe another you know 50 to 100 million dollars is probably spent on marketing although they did try their best to cut corners on some of the marketing and keep things a little tight kind of use the internet more uh, and do like fan contests and stuff so I don't know how much they spent on marketing but they probably did spend a ton of money on marketing so uh, I would say this has to make probably another you know 200 million dollars to I think officially break even but don't quote me on that I don't know for sure I'm just kind of guesstimating here uh, but to see this this is great and uh, you know it has not opened in China yet and there's a big reason why you know the 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 shuttle at the beginning of the movie crashes, uh, crash lands in East Malaysia, uh, and that is so they can get some Chinese actors in there and kind of, you know, bring in a Chinese audience, obviously, and then Tencent, who was the company we talked about before, they helped back this movie and produce some of the movie, so they have their own money involved, so they're going to make sure they make their investment back, so Sony's got, you know, they got a, a little bit of a road ahead of them, but it's not as long as it would have been if this movie only made 50 or 60 million dollars that extra 20 million or 20 to 30 million helps out a lot so seeing it hit 80 million opening weekend is fantastic you know Thursday night it hit 10 million dollars for you know opening night and then another 22 million on uh, th on Friday and then I think 26 million on Saturday and then back down to 22 or around 20 on uh, sat on Sunday so this movie is doing really really well but you know even though it doesn't have a lot of competition especially in its genre next weekend does matter um you know it's nice to see it off at a great start and everything but if this drops more than 60 percent uh you know that could i wouldn't say hurt the movie as far as getting a sequel go the sequel may still go forward especially if china is really big um but uh, but it's it's unsure you know it's still gonna be a hard road ahead of it so i hope that people who missed it this weekend go go out and see it next weekend um again it doesn't have a lot of competition as far as in its genre i think first man comes out there's a couple other movies come out that look good but i don't know if they'll pull in like the the venom audience i think uh hopefully some of you guys out there who saw it once this weekend maybe we'll go see it a second time uh next weekend that'll definitely you know help out but it, it just comes down to that big drop you know like if it hits over 60 percent drop that's uh that's not the greatest you know obviously so if we can keep it under 60 percent even if it's 59 percent uh that's still like a win uh you know a major win and that again will keep people silent who you know just want to hate uh but i am prepared once again for next weekend for people to come out of the woodworks and go see 62 percent drop your you know your movie sucks whatever uh, hopefully that's not the case, but hey, it's out of our hands, out of our control. We'll do the best we can. Some of us will go see it another time. I will probably go see it a fourth time uh, since I only really paid to see it once. The other two were screenings, so I'll probably go, you know, just to contribute more, I'll probably go see it uh, this coming weekend. I'm off on Sunday. And I think that would be a nice thing to do for me on Sunday uh, is go see this movie again. So I'm going to try to contribute. And I saw some of you guys sending me pictures of your tickets and also one or two of you sending me pictures of you eating the ticket. Uh, I think one of you guys sent me a picture of you eating your phone because you had digital tickets. Uh, so that's great. I'll save all those and maybe... Um, as we get close to the final episode of the season, episode 300, we will, um, you know, I'll share those images then. So keep sending them in, tag me on uh, social media, on Instagram and on Twitter, and I'll grab those images and we'll use them for that episode. And I might even use them for a new intro for next season. We'll see. Because I think next season, 
my intro is going to kind of focus on us as fans, uh, kind of the people who were rooting for this movie. And, you know, and, and not in the intro won't say like, you know, 30 years of, you know, Venom history explored or whatever. Um, I think it'll be more focused on us, you know, and, and, and things like that. And I might shine more of a spotlight on some of you guys out there who uh, who have been here since the beginning. And even some of you uh, who are new here who are, you know, um, like the movie overall. And some of you, you know, a lot of you guys gave it similar scores as I did, like a 7 out of 10. Uh, so we will talk about that in my, you know, video where I read your reviews. So if you want to go back in my uh, full review, my 52 minute review, um, if you want to go back and comment there and uh, let me know kind of, uh, you know, briefly what you think of the movie, I will try to make a video where I respond to that. And I'll read as many of them as I can. I probably won't get all of them, um, but I will get as many as I can in there. So this is great. I mean, seeing this uh, is, is so awesome. 125 million overseas and 80 million here domestically is a really good start for this movie. And uh, I remember when Spider-Man Homecoming came out, it did pretty well. Uh, but then it was like two months later, it released in China, and that helped it up there get closer to a billion dollars. So with Venom having a Chinese production company helping out on it, uh, you know, having scenes that took place in China and Malaysia and other areas, I think that will hopefully boost it enough. Uh, also, if you haven't seen the marketing over in China, it's hilarious. There's all these like little posters. We've talked about them on the show before, but I'll try to show one or two of them here where it's like showing Venom and has like how he'll make a good boyfriend if you take him to the movies with you and stuff. And it's like this really weird marketing campaign pain I think to get like um you know like college girls or something to go see the movie like they're trying to like widen the net of demographics and stuff so uh, I don't know it's it's very interesting how they're marketing it and it'll be interesting to see if it pays off on November 2nd which is when it releases in China so we will definitely do another video and by then we'll probably be into season three um, I'll be having my surgery that week so I'll probably still be recovering but once we get the information on November 5th of that opening weekend in China I'll make a video on that as well and we can talk more about it and we'll see again what the box office is because from here till there I probably won't talk about the box office too much except for maybe next weekend uh, you know seeing how it does so if it doesn't do well next weekend I'll make a sad video and if it does you know less than 60% uh, drop then I'll make a happy video uh, but uh, either way I think this movie did well enough and if it keeps going like this and if it does well in China and some of the other countries and it keeps raking in money during the week this could potentially get a sequel and it's looking like it might be a franchise starter and that is very good I mean we're off to a very good start here so uh, let me know what you think in the comments below of this uh, do you have any opinions on the money you know uh, that it's made so far and do you have any theories of what it could make next weekend let me know that down in the comments below and I will have more Venom vlogs coming up for you guys soon. I have a very busy week with uh, work and everything, so we might take a break. I might shift over and post some video game playthroughs and some Joker episodes and try to get some of those caught up on, and then we'll come back to Venom probably closer to the weekend. So uh, I'll keep an eye out for any more news, but for now, this will be it for a couple days, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.